Cosmos 1 was launched on March 16, 1962 at 11.59 a.m. UTC from Kapustin Yar. It was a 47kg satellite similar to the original Sputnik and was mainly meant to test its new launcher, the Cosmos 2i rocket, though it also helped with ionosphere research. The Cosmos 2i rocket was part of the R-12 family and, at a liftoff mass of 48 tons, was the lightest orbital rocket produced by the Soviet Union at that time. Its small scale led to structural inefficiency so that, even for its small size, it carried an underwhelming payload. The Cosmos 2i could only manage 300 kilograms to orbit. Unlike any other space mission, this launch was not so much noteworthy for its payload, nor for its new launcher. Rather, it was significant as the first mission with the Cosmos designation. Since Cosmos 1, over 2,500 missions given Cosmos numbers have been launched, with Cosmos 2500 being a GLONASS M navigation satellite launched in 2014. Cosmos missions are only rarely launched on Cosmos launchers. They have, over the decades, been launched on the full range of Russian launchers, and they cover the full range of government missions, communication, reconnaissance, navigation, probes to the moon or other planets, and so forth. Sometimes, if the missions are successful and noteworthy, they are given proper names. But if they either failed or were just standard missions, they remain Cosmos missions. Cosmos 1 was launched to an orbit of 649 kilometers by 207 kilometers and an inclination of 49 degrees. It deorbited after only two months. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Cosmos 1.